Hi everyone, welcome back. So if you watched my last video, you'll remember I talked about Raven, the fantastic 2000 CBBC show where a group of kids followed a half man, half bird around the forest of Scotland for a week. The great British TV formula. And if you didn't watch that video, well, what are you doing here? Go watch that. The 2000s was a strange time for British kids TV. Loads of really bizarre and very entertaining shows came and went over the years. And so today I thought I'd take a look at another show from that era. Bam. Zuki, ba Bam Zuki, was a show on CBBC, hosted by Jake Humphrey, who nowadays is a pretty well-known sports presenter. The show saw two teams of typically three to four kids who would compete to build virtual bugs in a computer program that would then go head to head in various challenges. And in a way, it kind of reminds me of a very primitive version of like Spore. In fact, I think the first time I ever saw Spore, the first thing that I thought of was, oh, that's Bam Zuki. The teams would build four bugs called Zooks, like, the name of the show. And they would choose one to compete in each challenge, which would usually be something like an obstacle course or maybe a sumo match or anything really to test the Zook's design. They also got to name their Zooks, and some teams to their credit did come up with really creative names. But most of the time the teams would just name the Zook what it did or what it looked like. So most of the Zooks had names like Speedy or Big Man or Windows XP has stopped responding. Now of course the thing that everyone remembers about Bamzuki and I'm sorry if this is your first time hearing this, but the Zooks, well, they... They weren't real. The challenges were simulated using the Bamzuki simulation software and then superimposed onto a table in the TV studio using augmented reality. Which might look pretty bad now, but was probably quite advanced for the time. But just like Raven, there's this really weird element to it where the kids in the TV studio who can't see the Zooks have to somehow act like the CGI is real. And I wonder how many kids' dreams were crushed by finding this out for the first time. Like, if you really think about it, pretty much all of this show is just kids yelling at a green tablecloth, and the kids had to cheer on the Zooks during the challenges, which must have been really awkward if you didn't know what was happening. So they just end up standing there, kind of like, do I clap? Do I cheer? Are, are we even winning? What's what's going on? So a whole part of Bamzuki is that the Zooks are designed before coming on the show, and the teams have had to make Zooks that are not only able to move around properly, but also well suited to any potential challenge they might face. So you might have one Zook that's really fast, and one Zook that's really strong, and stuff like that. And with this being a team-based competition, there's a lot of emphasis on the kids collaborating with each other to come up with good designs. But in all the episodes I've seen, I've always got the impression that there's like one, or maybe a couple of kids in the team that are really into it and then there's always the one friend who's kind of just there you know he's he's helping i mean he's more of an ideas guy so like on this team they've got joseph the designer he conceptualizes the zooks and then puts them into action then you've got daniel the animator who makes sure that all the parts are moving in the right direction then there's franco the tester he puts the zooks through their paces and helps the team fine-tune the details Luigi's the colorist. Luigi's the one guy in the group project who doesn't talk to you for three weeks and then messages you the day before the deadline asking for help. At the start of each episode, they do these segments where they introduce the teams. But instead of like, you know, introducing them normally, or maybe in a way that doesn't embarrass them on national television, instead they get these kids that have never acted before to do comedy skits. What do you look like? Listen, baby. Chaos is fine. Just give in to it. As long as it's groovy. Yeah, I'm suddenly not comfortable with this anymore. At least with Raven, there weren't very many embarrassing things they made the contestants do. Like, it was all pretty cool for the most part, but I feel like if I ever went on Bamzuki, I wouldn't want anyone to ever find out. There are so, so many more of these, but almost all of them have copyrighted music, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. After the team's introductions, we then get shown the four Zooks that the teams have had to design and name. Now, looking at the Zooks, I mean, Decker Sprint has got such fast feet. How quick is that? Zook. He's 151 centimeters per second. That's fast. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's fast. Each episode has four challenges, and for them you have to get together as a team and decide which Zook you're gonna pick. And then that Zook gets locked out and you can't use them for the rest of the episode. I feel like the producers of the show always imagine that there'll be way more strategy than there actually is when it comes to picking your Zooks. Like they thought you had to weigh up the pros and cons of every Zook and keep your options open because you might not be able to use it later. But in reality, the choices the kids make are really basic. You essentially just pick the big Zook or the fast Zook. Okay teams, our next challenge is a sumo match. So go and look very carefully at your Zooks and decide which one you want to pick. We pick Big Man. Oh, um, okay. 
Uh, are you sure about that? Think about this one. It's a tough choice. No, we pick big man. Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. Um, so why did you guys pick Big Man? Because he's big. I love how the presenter is also trying so hard to get the kids to talk to him in like these post-match interviews, but they just do not care. Do you know what? Spear yes. Flipper was a big, chunky zook, but not quite big and chunky enough. But Fredo, what a performance. Was that the kind of thing you're expecting, Daniel? Yeah. Good. Cool. After each of the individual challenges, each episode typically ends with a relay race across an obstacle course, where you can put your zooks in any order you want. It was kind of like an amalgamation of all the different challenges they face. The winners of each episode got these cool framed Bamzuki posters, and the winners of the final got a trophy. The show didn't run for as long as Raven, but it did run for long enough to receive a reboot or a spin-off or something called Bamzuki street rules which had this weird storyline in it where like bamzuki was made illegal by the government so they had to like compete in underground warehouses despite how much i've been making fun of bamzuki i really did enjoy it when it was on and it was a pretty good show looking back at it now while it was just a show for fun there's also this other element to it where the bbc were clearly trying to teach kids about engineering and problem solving which i think is pretty cool like they would have these segments where they'd explain common bamzuki problems and relate them to real world issues and then show you how to fix them. Now this is the point in the video where I'd usually sum up my thoughts and then ask you to subscribe and then say goodbye. But there is one more thing that I want to talk about and it's the reason why I wanted to make a video on this show. You see the cool thing about Bamzuki was that it was essentially an open source game show meaning that the software that the kids used to design and test their zooks was available online on the CBBC website and you could download that software, make your own zook and then put it up on the website and they had things like zook league tables and galleries and all this cool stuff. Now sadly Bamzuki ended for good in 2010, meaning that no matter how much I want one I'll never be able to get a framed Bamzuki poster from Jake Humphrey. And when I was researching for this video I also found that the download page for the Bamzuki software is no longer available. So unfortunately it seems like my Bamzuki journey ends here. In less. What if I were to tell you that there's a place that you can not only download the original Bamzuki software, but you can run it in full HD on Windows 10. A place only accessible to the most elite minds and Bamzuki experts. A place called Reddit. Yeah, the software's on Reddit. R slash Bamzuki. So how about we have a go? Hello everyone, and welcome to the ultimate Bamzuki showdown. I'm joined today by Dave. Say, so, oh my god, I can just see your zoo right in front of me. <laughs> there he is. He's, there he he's is. A large lad, isn't he? <laughs> he is a big boy. We decided that we're going to do like a sort of Bamzuki showdown. We've got three zooks instead of four because we're lazy. But yeah, I'm joined by Dave. Say hi, Dave. Hi there. So on my team today, we have Rainbow Man. He's a, he's a multi colored zook. He's got four legs, he's got a little head. I gave him some eyes. What do you think about Rainbow Man? I think Rainbow Man's a very ergonomic design of uh, all fours Kriggers. Truly makes him a, a formidable Zook. Okay, now what do you really think about Rainbow Man? I think he 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 looks terrible. Okay, and then my second Zook, we have ah, <laughs> yeah, the Toy Story uh, baby. <laughs> this is the baby from Toy Story. Okay, oh. and then we have <laughs> Homer. His name is Homer. <laughs> I really like the hair. So those are mine. Just just to give a recap, we've got Homer. We have Rainbow Man. We have the baby from. <laughs> we have the baby from Toy Story. So now it's time for Dave Zooks. So Dave, do you want to take us through the Zooks that you prepared for us? Of course. So I'd like to start with Zook One, or as I like to call him, Z 0 K One. So I kind of decided to just give him like a spattering of colors because I wasn't <laughs> really sure what I was going with this. When I was making the Zook and experiment with the software, I realized you can make the Zook flip quite, quite quickly. So I realized, what if I made the Zook just sort of a base and tie around spinning <laughs> around as much as possible? He got a, he got a flips around, you know? And he, uh, he doesn't get stuck. He sort of just keeps going. He, he just sort of moves. <laughs> All right, next one we'll go with Dragon. So the Dragon was the second Zook I made. I originally wanted to make one that kind of like pushed itself. Um because he was going to be dragging himself around. He is a big boy. Yeah, he is massive. I think um, he's the biggest. I kind of made him as big as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Huge. Okay, and then let's move on to the final Zook. So the final Zook is uh, my magnum opus Zook. This one, the one that actually works. It's called Sneed. You can see oh here. God. He's got. He's got. Those aren't ears. Those are actually his eyes, if you uh, zoom in there. I am looking. <laughs> so what was your artistic inspiration for this Zook? 
Um, so the way this is going to work is that we have three challenges and we're going to choose a Zook for each challenge and then that Zook is eliminated and we can't use it for the rest of the game. Whoever has the most points by the end of the challenge becomes the ultimate Bamzuki master of today. So the challenge I think we should start with is Zook Sumo. So this is just like your typical run-of-the-mill Bamzuki game. You've just got to push the other Zook into the bottomless void. So which Zook are you going to choose for the Sumo? I will choose the Dragon as my Sumo champion. I'm going to go for Homer because he is a big boy. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Come on, Homer. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh go <laughs> off he goes. So that didn't quite go as planned. All right, let's let's do it again, just, <laughs> just in case. Self backwards. Oh, it's oh my god, the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the he programmed to go the wrong way. That's oh, Banzuki crashed. So I I think we call that one point to me. So this is dodgy Zook. This is like it's basically a race from A to B, but then there's like moving walls in the middle, and you have to sort of navigate around them. So which Zook do you want to choose? I will choose my rotating Zook or Z zero zero K one. I think Rainbow Man will be good because he's just I mean he he's just kind of boring. He just sort of moves and that's it. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Right, go. And they're both upside down. Oh, he, he just got flaxed. Up. He could do it. Oh, your one's on the floor. I think it's oh, safe no. to say, Dave, that uh, your one's not going to win this challenge. I think the only hope for your Zook is that my one also can't finish. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it just got flipped in the air. Call it a draw? All right, so this brings up the final challenge. Um, so your last one is Sneed, isn't it? Yes. And then my last one is the baby from Toy Story. So this is Zook Hurdles. This is the final challenge. Come on, the baby. Your one's actually made it through. My one just oh got stuck. Goodness. Oh no, my one's upside down. Da baby has been defeated. baby. You could have done How did so Sneed much. Go? Sneed is actually a really good Zook. Oh. Is he oh. gonna make it? Oh. Come on, Sneed. Come on, you can make it. No, come on, buddy. Is he just... Oh, there he is. Yeah. He's actually getting him through. I think he's going to do it. Unless he goes off the side here by being... He might. Oh, no, that thing's going to be a problem. I think it's actually knocked him in the right direction. He's done That's it. That's it. He's done it. That's actually an effective Zook. Your Zook has actually won a challenge. True masterpiece. You... <laughs> I like how we're just in complete shock that one of our Zooks actually made it through a challenge. That's quite a good Zook. I wasn't expecting him to work as well as he does, but he's actually not bad, is he? I think basically we found that I won by like one point or something. Yeah. I can't remember. I think you won by one point. Yeah, I mean, I basically stopped counting, so how about we call it a Let's draw? Let's just say it was an overall draw, that's fine. <laughs> Let's just say it was a draw, fine. So who gets the framed Bamzuki poster? Shit. Um, why don't we cut it in half? Yeah, I'll take one half. I'll, I'll take the left half. No, 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 no take I'll the take right the front half. half, you take the back half. <laughs> you, you just get the poster and I get the frame. <laughs> <laughs> Seems fair to me, bro. It's a nice frame. We are really bad at live commentary. <laughs> It's so god awful. All right, so that was it for the Bamzuki contest. Nobody really won. We sort of just stopped caring halfway through. Yeah, thanks, Dave, for coming and helping me out with Bamzuki. I hope you had a good time. Oh, I had a wonderful time. Thank you for inviting me. Thanks for watching my video on Bamzuki. It was a bit of a different ending to the video than what I normally do, and I had a lot of fun making it. If there's another weird CBBC show, or really anything else for that matter that you'd like me to cover next, please let me know. Other than that, if you like the video, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Basil Brush.